everybody, and welcome back to Stacia Expert Mode. And in this episode, we start Botania, Botania Mana Generation. And we also do a little bit of Astral Sorcery so we can start Botania. So, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today we are going to be doing some Botania because we're going to need some Botania later on to make this Mana Weave Claw to be able to make a Pity Machine Frame, which will allow us to start making us some machines. Because I really would like to get into this Metallurgic Infuser as soon as I can. Um, but first we need to actually generate some Mana to be able to make those things. So, a couple of things first is I made myself a Travel Staff. Like you said in the comments of last episode, that I should have used a travel staff that allowed me to teleport short distances to be able to get out of the spawner, uh, like in here, so I didn't have to die. I didn't know that this thing um, didn't teleport me short distances. I knew it allowed me to travel between travel anchors, which I did make. And oh, hello. He's up there. And yes, I did make myself some travel anchors so I can then tra travel around so I can go to home, my Boatania area I'm setting up, my Astral Sorcerer area that I'm beginning to work on. I got my power, which I'm slowly changing out the ground to this asphalt concrete, uh, which I have ran out of materials to make it. And this guy is really struggling with the, the diesel at the moment, but that's whatever. So, yeah. And also, I did get myself a mending book off a villager outside. Let me go over and show you. And I got mining or the experience boost, which was some another thing you mentioned that I should get. That plus mending will pretty much make my thing indestructible because... With mending, you use experience to repair your tools, and since I have experience boost, that means no matter what block I break, it will always give me some experience. So this guy will cost 34 emeralds and a book to make a mending book. It didn't actually take that long, I had just a couple of ch changes of the lectern, and he managed to get me give me one. So that's one good thing about that. So, uh, also yeah, one other thing about the spawners, he kept saying that this thing only does a 5x5 area. I know that, I only did a 5x5 area, but I didn't actually show that in the episode. Because I already I went ahead and prepared the area and put the vector plates on top of it anyway. Also, another thing is, uh, for some reason, my, these animal spawners aren't working. So I don't know whether they haven't reached a specific condition. Uh, to ignore conditions, I need dragon eggs. And the only way to get dragon eggs, they only get one for killing the dragon. But to get more, I need to use mystical agriculture to make more, which is way out of our reach at the moment. So, yeah. So back to Botania. For Botania, I have prepared this area here. So I've dug out a little hollow area here where we're going to be putting our mana spreaders. And mana spreaders are going to go on top of each of these petal apothecaries, which weren't these weren't that cheap. They required alloy machine frames, which is all this stuff. Um, but yeah, that wasn't fun. But now we've got, I think, about how many do I actually have here? Eight of them. So it's going to have two mana spreaders per thing. Uh, I don't know why it kind of ended up being like this. I probably could spread these back of one more. To make it a little bit more even, but that's whatever. And I've got these guys set up here to duplicate some petals. And I'll show you that now because I have prepared all the petals I need now today. Say, for instance, I want more black petals. So this guy should have a load of bone meal still in him. I just put a petal in here. Just to keep one to jumpstart it. That will spawn one. And then I just grab myself a pair of shears, which I accidentally used up a bunch of my iron to make my 20 shears. But I just sit here and just hold left click and it will break all of them. Just giving me these tall ones, which I can condense down back into pe petals, add them back in here, and just sit here and just keep going until my shears break. Pretty cool. So let's begin. The first things we need to actually do is a little bit of astral sorcery. Because if we want to go ahead and make some mana spreaders, we're going to need illumination powder. And illumination powder comes from a luminous crafting table, which is from astral sorcery. So we need some glowstone and aquamarines inside a luminous crafting table to make the illumination powder. So the first thing we need to do is go find ourselves a collector crystal, which I did find um, by accident. I thought it was one of those structures with the sea lanterns that was buried on the ground, but it wasn't. So if we come down over here, oh yeah, I need to go back and check with that uh, traveling guy cells. But I think right there, right at, or is it maybe it's further over there? But I thought it was one of these guys, but it turns out it wasn't. It was one with the collector crystal. And I don't know if there's a way to move collector crystals. I know they're technically indestructible. And I did try a cardboard box to see if I could pick it up. But that doesn't work either. 
So if you know a way on how to pick up the collector crystals, or maybe I could maybe shift right click it. I didn't actually try that. Let me try that and see if it works. If not, we'll have to figure out a different way to make it or be able to move it because I would like to put one up there where my astral sorcery stuff is. All right, here it is. So there's our collector crystal. You can see I've already been in here, but I never tried shift right clicking it. Can I pick it up? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So let's come down here and let's get rid of this water because the water is just going to be in our way. And break this now because this thing is definitely indestructible. But what we need to do is if we look in here and make ourselves a resonating wand. Uh, what am I missing? Marble? Have I got no astral sorcery marble in here? Oh, I don't. I think I actually have it all in here. Uh, this chisel, astral sorcery marble. Let me just leave a stack in there so I can always mine it up and let's put all this away. Uh, also, one other thing is our obsidian colossal chest might be full. I keep condensing blocks down. You can see like I have condensing everything down. But because of our mob farm, it is actually filling up really, really fast. So we just need to make ourselves a crafting table. And I think I can just like shift right click this thing. Oops. Um. Oh, it's already doing it. I think I just put it down. It'll automatically turn this thing into a luminous crafting table because it says to make it, you need to focus some starlight onto it. So hopefully this might change because you can see the little beam changing it. And once that's done, I can make myself a linking tool in here. Uh, oh, I need a tier two table. Okay, so I'll work on that another time because I need this linking tool to be able to make myself some star metal ore. So we'll do that another time. So as soon as this is done, let me just get out the glowstone and my aqua marines. I mined up a bit more of it. So aqua and then glowstone. And that should be enough. Should make me, I think it's 16 per one set of it. So it should make me a couple of stacks of it. Uh, why aren't you technically crafting? Do I need to shift right click? Maybe it needs access to the sky. No. I thought this is how it worked. I thought you just put it down and it will automatically turn into it. Okay, I've been sitting here for a while now and I've cleared out all this area and I don't think this is going to work because I just realized this is a Mara collector crystal. I don't think this is the right collector crystal. I think we need to find the other structure for, from Astral Sorcery. You know, like the big temple one. This was just a small little one underground. And the only issue is I haven't seen one of those at all on my map. Now, I usually find them in mountain area, so I might travel over here to see if I can find one, but I have a feeling this is the wrong collector crystal. Yeah, and I haven't seen any other collector crystals around. So, unless I can find one over here, we might be a bit stuck. So, I'm going to go on a quick adventure over here and see if I can find one, because this is going to take forever. Okay, um, so I went to the village kind of south of me, so right here to this village, and I found another one of these just beneath me. And I just said, you know, let's try it. Let's try this collector crystal to see if it works. And for some reason it did work. So either maybe it needs all these structures put together or something. But for whatever reason, the other collector crystal just did not work. But this one did. So I'm going to pick this up and head home because for some reason this one decided to work. So that's great, at least. So now I don't have to spend hours trying to find another one of those other temples. But I'm still very confused on why that collector crystal didn't work. I'd say it's probably because I did destroy the actual structure. But you know what? It worked. I don't care. So we can head up to our astral sorcery area. You know what? Actually, let's just hang down at Botania for now. We don't necessarily need to set this up there just yet. So, uh, oh, this needs to be access to Rex Sila. You know what? Actually, maybe we will do it up here. So we need this thing to have direct um, direct contact with the sky. So we just need ourselves our glowstone. So let me get my glowstone and my aquamarines. Grab out my wand. And let's put this in here. So this with that. And this with that. And there we go. Does this work? Maybe it just needs to be nighttime. Uh, so I guess with the sun. No, the sun's just rising. So that ain't great. Um... Maybe we should go back over to that other collector crystal because that thing, I know it didn't turn the, the crafting table into the right thing, but at least it will allow it to power it so we can actually make our stuff. So I'm going to head back over to that collector crystal now. All right, we're back at this collector crystal. So hopefully this works. So if I just put these inside, 
Can I use it? Wait, you gotta be kidding me. Why isn't this working? Don't tell me this crafting table requires, like, an altar. Surely not. I thought this crafting table just works straight off the bat. Where's my astral sorcery tome? Let me just read this. So, this crafting table... Yeah, it doesn't need anything. So, why isn't this working? I know we unlocked this guy, but that's just to make the next tier altar, which is this guy. But this should just work. Okay, it's receiving starlight, but the thing isn't going up. Does it seriously not work like this? It doesn't. Do I have to go back to the other altar? Let me go back to the other collector crystal and see. This episode's just becoming a back and forth mess. All right, let's see if this works. Uh, the barring going up. I don't think this is going to work either. Nope. Uh, so it must be at night time it works, because I don't understand it. Like, it should work straight away. Oh, we got another tome. I already crafted one. So I don't understand. We need to make all crystal tools. Wow. Uh, so yeah, I have no idea what's wrong with this. It should just work. Maybe I do have to wait for it to turn night time. And if so, that's kind of annoying. Okay, yeah, so apparently I just had to wait for it to turn night time. Um, the collector crystal should have allowed me to make it, but for some reason it didn't. Like, I'm pretty sure the crystal just generates power for it. Oh my god, that's a lot of illumination powder. You know what, we're actually up here, we might as well make the other one, the nocturnal powder. How hard is that to make? At astral... Oh god, astral... The nocturnal powder is usually the opposite. Um, it requires charcoal, blue, and black dye. Uh, we can make a small bit of it, so we need some illumination powder. We're going to need some charcoal, or I think regular coal might work. I'm not sure. Does regular coal work in here? Okay, yes. Yeah, so we just need some black dye, which we have a few of these petals for, and I have plenty of petals back in the other thing. Some mortar and pestle. So we got 44 black dye, and I think I just need some blue dye. So just some lapis. Uh, everything's in block form at the moment because the chest is getting full, so I might have to expand it. But this is the bottom, this either side. I know I have a small bit of coal. I need to go mine for more. Uh, wait. Oh, wait. No. Okay, there we go. This took a second for it to register. Oh, wait. There's some crystals right there. Yeah, holding this wand at nighttime will allow you to see where, like, uh, rock crystal veins might be underground. So if we dig straight down a bedrock down that way, we might find some. Uh, there's probably more around, because I actually did find some while mining before. Um, but I can't remember exactly where, but it wasn't too far away. So, we head down to our Botania area now. We should have everything we need to make our mana spreaders. So, we need some seeds, and we're going to need some petals. So, petal. Uh... Is there a zombie? Yeah, there is a zombie. One shot. Uh, oh, Vorpal. Yeah, that's what causes that. Um, so yeah, we have our petal apothecary here, and I made myself a sink. So if we grab ourselves a bucket, we should be able to add some buckets of water into this. And we need to make at least four, four pure daisies. So one, two, three, four petals. And then if we turn off my magnet, we throw some seeds up on top, it will make that. So if we grab my bucket, empty hand. Uh, nope. Empty hand. Nope, take that out. Um, make one more. And I think we can make one more. So, bucket. There we go. So, these are our pure daisies. So, pure daisies. I right, space them out. So, they're even. So, I need at least two block gaps in between each one. So, we can evenly space down all of our things. So, what we need to do is we're going to be making ourselves some living rock and living wood. Living wood is, of course, treated planks around a pure daisy. And living rock is white concrete. Now, I've already went ahead and made the white concrete. Got about eight stacks of it. And I just need my treated wood now. And what you do is you just surround it like this. Oh, of course, it starts to rain. And you just surround everything around the pure daisies. And give it, so, a minute. And this will turn to living rock and this into living wood. So, I'm going to do about at least a stack of these things. And get enough of it so we can make ourselves our mana spreaders, our mana pools, our mana splitter, which requires mana steel, which does require an alchemy catalyst and some steel ingots. This is going to require some brewing stands, gold, mana pearls, and living rock. Mana pearl is just an ender pearl in a mana pool. So I'm actually going to go home and quickly sleep. 
Uh, so I can get rid of this rain because I don't want to be dealing with the rain now. There we are. And back up the Botania. And the rain should disappear. And it does. So this is going to take another few minutes. But what let's do now. Let's make ourselves our brewing stands now. So Alchemy Catalyst. Let me actually bookmark that as well. So brewing stands. I should be able to make them easy enough. That's the two of them. Oh, and here we go. So let's make in our living wood. There we go. And this should turn into living rock now in a second. Let's put back down our tree to plank so we keep making more. Oops, I did not want to do that. And then our living rock. And the same thing again. Put down more white concrete and make more. So we should have enough now to actually make ourselves some mana pools. So I need to make at least four of these. That's only three. Okay. But I'm going to make this into planks and I'm going to make myself four open crates. Now the open crates are going to be what I'm going to use to automatically fuel the endo flames. So I have ender chests made. Uh, I have five orange ender chests. And I'm going to need myself some hoppers. And probably going to need a few more than these. So let's make some more hoppers. See how many of these we can make now? We can make four. Perfect. So I need to get the open crates and some pressure plates. So let's get some pressure plates. We need four of these. There we go. And we're going to put a pressure plate in between each one of these. Just like so. Then I'm going to grab the hoppers or the open crates. And I'm going to face them down the way. And hopefully the hole points down. Yep. So I'm going to put these down on top of each one. I think it only faces down anyway. So shouldn't have to worry too much about it. And then I grab the hoppers and put the hoppers on top. And this is what's going to feed the open crates with the blaze rods. Because we're going to use blaze rods to power this farm. Let's pick up all of this. There we go. And we'll just do our last half a stack. And then we just need to grab ourselves the other mana pools now. So we just need one more mana pool. There we go. So let's put down our four mana pools around this block. Because this is the where the oak plank or the oak log is where the, the spreader is going to go. But the mana spreaders now um, are going to need framed living wood. Which are... Oh god. Wait, so how am I supposed to make this... Without having to direct the mana in the first place. I need infused wood. Uh, which I think is dropping this wood inside of a pool of light starlight. So I'm going to have to make the light well. So, oh my god, this is actually a little bit more complicated than I thought. I thought I had everything, but apparently not. Uh, wait, what did I do with the table? Did I actually break it? Yeah, I did. Okay, I don't know why I broke it for some reason. But the light well is going to require ruined, chiseled, and aquamarine. So... I'm going to need rock crystal, aquamarines, marble arches, marble brick, regular marble, rune marble, and chiseled marble. I don't know exactly the combination, but should be able to put that in here. And, oh, it has to be nighttime now. Damn it. <laughs> I did not think this through. Right, I'm going to have to wait for it to turn nighttime. Is there anything else I need to prepare before I figure out what else I need? But the infused wood, infused wood is a decorative crafting area. It'll be crafted by dropping oak logs into the source of liquid starlight. So I need to make that. Yeah, so the framed one is living plank. Okay, so it's not that difficult. So let's go to Apotania and let's get everything else ready. So this makes framed. There we go. And the gold sheet metal. I did make up some gold plate uh, plates. Yeah, so put that in there, that in there, everything away. Just hold on to the Acma Marines because I'm going to need that to make the liquid starlight. And everything else should be okay. So, you know what? While we're waiting for it to turn nighttime, let's make ourselves these stacks of endo flames. The endo flames are going to require two stacks of brown petals, a stack of red and light gray. So, if we look at petals, we have here two stacks of these, a stack of red and a stack of light gray. Grab ourselves a stack of seeds and a bucket. So, what I'm going to do is uh, give myself an empty hand. And we're going to fill this guy up. We're going to have to separate these out. So, one of each... A stack of that. So what I'm going to do is make sure my magnet on or off. Now it's off. So I'm going to chuck everything out. That makes an endo flame. Pick up the endo flame. Put it in my inventory. And it's going to sit here. Wait, I need to throw the seeds on top. And just sit here and just keep crafting all these. Alright, the sun is finally going down. And... Okay, things are even a bit darker than normal. But whatever. So we have enough to make our light well. So shift right click that, give it a second, and it will make our light well. 
There we are. And all we have to do is put that on the ground, right click it with that, and this thing will slowly start filling up with liquid starlight. This light well can hold over two buckets, or only two buckets. So I have to wait till there's enough up for a bucket in there. So let's grab out ourselves a bucket. And then I have to take it out, put it in the ground, throw some oak logs into it, and make ourselves infused wood. Right, the thing almost has a bucket now. 950, 970, and a bucket. So, put this down in the ground. Whoa, it's blue. Usually it's white. Maybe because it's dark. But anyway, I think we just throw that in there, and you can see something's happening. It's all these the weird yellow particles, and yep, it is all turning into infused wood, which is exactly what we need. How long is this going to take? Oh, there's the whole stack. Oh, oh yeah, we get night vision by standing in it. Cool. So, back down to Botania, and we should have everything now to make ourselves our mana spreaders. And I did make my stack of endo flames. So, mana spreaders, put these in here. I need a total of eight of them, so how many can we make? Seven, eight, there we go. And, yes, yeah, so... All I have to do is now put these down on either side of these. And I did make myself my wand of the forest. And you can see they're all going in every direction. But for now, I'm just going to have them point into one mana pool. Like this. There we go. And I did set up my ender chest that be filling with blaze rods very slowly. I don't know if there's a way to speed it up, but hopefully this will just be enough for now. So, put that on top. And you can see it is going to continuously drop until I put a redstone signal on it. Which isn't exactly what I want. Um, but for now, I guess this will work. And I want to add a filter onto my magnet. So shift right click this. And I should be at item filter blacklist. So it won't pick these up. I think that's correct. Oh, my range isn't even on the max. Oh, okay. So whitelist. If I turn it on, it picks it up. Blacklist doesn't pick it up. All right, perfect. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to break these guys for right now because I don't want to just const constantly pumping it out because then that's kind of just a waste for the moment. So let's put down all our endo flames now. So I'm going to put down a good few of them. Hopefully that's enough of them now. Let's make sure they're all linked up to one of them. Uh, I want to make it sure they're all linked to the right side. All right, that should be good. So let's grab ourselves out a stack of these, of these blaze rods, chuck them out in the ground, and these things will devour them all. Yep, they're all been activated, and this thing is going to start blasting this thing full of mana. Now let's do the same over here. All right, these are all set up, so just chuck down a stack of blaze rods, and they all should go poof. Yep. And now if we look in here with our wand, we can see we have a tiny bit of mana in there. So what we need to do is grab ourselves some ender pearls. Chuck a few of them in here. And now we've used up all the mana we have. But now we can make ourselves our mana splitter. Oh, wait, no, we're not making the mana splitter. We're making the alchemy catalyst. Uh, I just need some more gold. All my gold is in block form too. So alchemy catalyst. And now we can put this under it here. Why did it? Why did I pick back up all the blaze rods? That's a bit odd. Anyway, so now we just get ourselves some steel. And we just need to make two mana steel. There we go. Now we can make ourselves our mana splitter. Uh, oh, we need more living rock. Good thing I have a load of it made. So there we go. So living rock across the bottom makes a mana splitter. And now we can put them... Okay, something's odd. Why is the blaze rods coming to me when I have my magnet disabled for them? I'll just turn my magnet off completely for right now. So, uh... Mana spreaders into the mana splitter. There we are. And I'm only going to use this one as the catalyst. The rest is going to be left as normal. So, let's put everything in our inventory away. We don't need it all anymore. Actually, we do. Endo. I need my endo flames, the ender chests, the, uh, the hoppers. Because now we're going to get ourselves some redstone links. So, redstone link, if I can find it in this list here. Redstone. Stone link. There we are. Let's bookmark that. So the redstone link is going to require some brass. Now brass can be made inside a casting thing in here, which is a zinc and a copper. Now, can I make it inside the alloy? -er? So let's see. Brass. Alloy smelter. So three copper to one zinc. Right. Let's go do that now. 
Right, I should have everything now. So what we need to do is back down our hoppers here. Um, but I need to make sure they don't export out. But it's okay if they export a little bit. Can I jump up here? I can. Okay, good. So put back down the hoppers. And what I need to do is grab these redstone links and put one right here. This is going to be set up as receiving. Okay. And what I need to do is come down here underneath this pressure plate. Okay. So under here, and this is going to be set as sending. So... I'm going to put one blaze rod in link number one and then link number one up here. Let me just teleport out and put this in here. So this will now turn off the hopper when it receives one. So if I take those away, it'll only dispense one, which is exactly what we want. And let's put back down our endo flame now. Now we have to do the same over here. So link down and I'm going to use a spruce plank. So frequency number one. And put this guy in frequency number one. Let me get out of here now. Frequency number one. You will disable. Pick him up. Dispense only one. And the flames back down. You are linked. I want you linked to this guy. There we go. And now I need to do the same over here. And I'm going to use a molten core and a piece of gravel. And there we go. So everything should be hooked up right now. Oh wait. I need to put down this last endo flame over here. So I did make exactly the right amount. So put this guy. Wait. Why does it look like there's more here than there? Maybe it's just the way they're placed. But this guy is connected to that guy. So, yeah. Everything should be... A, it works it perfectly. So, yeah. So, this is now perfectly set up. And I think there's nothing else left to do for this episode. So, I'm going to end it there. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Hope to see you on the next episode. So, without further ado, goodbye. Goodbye.